Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Big Dance. Okay, MAC tournament tonight. Really pumped for this. It started yesterday. Um, Canisius Niagara went to triple overtime. Canisius coming out on top over there. Um, who else won last night, Matt? Give Manhattan us a won big against Marist. Marist. Manhattan okay. getting hot at the right time. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ryder beat Quinnipiac. Uh, as expected, Quinnipiac had a. They had a. I was actually. I watched the end of that game. They had a. A last minute push. They had a couple threes in a row, and then. I don't know, yeah. Found someone at the line. It was a big mess. Desperation. It's like, yeah. where has this been all season yeah. long? But, yeah. but we lose. Of course. Um, they lose. So, uh, what's that? Down to eight, the final eight. Mm hmm. Elite eight. Down to, yeah, sure, if you want to consider it that. <laughs> if you um, want to call them elite. Okay. So, we'll start off with Fairfield versus St. Peter's. Okay. Okay. This is a, this is a good matchup. Uh, St. Peter's just recently beat Fairfield. Right to end the se their to, season, to, I believe so. To push back, uh, to allow Sienna to grab the third seed. Third, right. Um, so Fairfield coming in, they've had a really good season for Fairfield. They've they've really improved a lot. They beat I they beat Iona at home. That was probably the worst game Iona played in conference this year. It was a really poor yeah. showing. Uh, to break it down, I think Fairfield <clears throat> could be the dark horse team here in this tournament. Besides from Manhattan, Manhattan's a defending champ. Yeah, a Manhattan's not a dark horse because exactly they they've won it twice now. It's really hard to consider them a dark horse. But if I, if I were to have to pick a team and say that a team that really impressed me a lot, and I could see them making a run, it would definitely be Fairfield. Because uh, I've been high on Sienna all season long. Right. I had Sienna in the championship game against Monmouth. But anyways, Fairfield, St. Peter's. I personally see St. Peter's has a chance of winning this game, but I'm going to go with Fairfield. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. going to be a low-scoring defensive battle. I think Fairfield's offense is way better than St. Peter's, mm -hmm. but St. Peter's has the edge on defense. Uh, I think Fairfield's just hot at the right time. I, I, th I think Fairfield knows how to attack St. Peter's. Yeah. Well. They, yeah. The, losing to St. Peter's was a big thing for them, I think, because you, you get to learn from your loss. Right. And if you were to beat a team twice, you can't really learn from your mistakes as much as you can if you lose to a team w at least once. So AKA our matchup. Last year. This year oh, well, also. this year. But, <laughs> but it's a little different situation. Canisius has a losing record, and Fairfield and St. Peter's are – like, they're always, they're always a team that, that isn't easy to beat. Right. But, I mean, <clears throat> personally, I think Fairfield's going to win this game. What about you? Uh, yeah, I got to go Fairfield, too. I think that they've just been hot – for the past month or so, they won like nine or ten straight, I think. Uh, and, it, you know, it really is about who gets hot at this time. Manhattan the last two years. You get hot at the right time, that's how you mm -hmm. win. You know, same thing with the big tournament. Uh, and I think Fairfield right now is a better team. Uh, I think a low scoring, maybe like a 66, 59, something around that maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, I, I don't think either two of these teams can really make it that far i kind of see fairfield uh playing the role of monmouth last year where monmouth will give where monmouth gave iona a real a real run for their money in the in one of the games so i think it was a really good season for fairfield i think they'll win this game and then try their luck against the winner of uh man man i mean sorry rider rider monmouth. monmouth um i so so moving on then I guess we can go. Well, I think before we move on, I, I think this game is a lot bigger than it appears to be on paper because the the Monmouth Ryder game is not a lock by any means. Uh, Ryder played somewhat well in the first half at Monmouth two weeks ago. Uh, if Ryder somehow could beat Monmouth, I think Fairfield just gets to the finals then if they win. So this game is a, is a huge game. Like they're gonna be they're gonna be huge Ryder fans moving forward. But I, this game has more implications, this, I think. This year, Iona has a – I mean, not Iona. Iona last year had a real big target on their back. Right. You know, player of the year, Dave Lowry, getting all this recognition that, they, that they're that they the best team in the conference and that they could even get an at-large bid. It really kind of changed over to Monmouth. Right. And Monmouth, right. I say, has a much, much bigger target on their back. And it's simply because of the bench and how the bench right. has been of getting course. all this national attention and everyone in the conference is just like, hey, you guys actually didn't even win a conference tournament in a long time actually not even since they moved they into moved the to, MAC. I mean, they moved to the mac in 2012 haven't so won it yet obviously they haven't won it yet right. they just won their first regular season one good for them congratulations whatever as iona 
Gales fans, yeah, we know that doesn't you know, mean anything. Act like you've you gotta, been there before. You got you to win the tournament. And right now, Monmouth has the injury to Deion Jones. Right, right? That, that's and a huge, huge injury. It's a huge loss. They haven't been playing as well as um, they were with him, and he's not going to be playing in this tournament. So on top of that, King Rice, he's kind of an outspoken coach, and he, they, se- Monmouth really seemed to be obsessed with Iona. And obsessed with beating Iona. I, I think it's because they 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 think that they're taking over the role that you know the crown is switching heads or however you want to put it. Iona, this is the problem. Iona does not have the crown. Right. Manhattan has the crown. Manhattan, They've of course. The that's past that, well, that's always what that's the issue the problem. is going to be. That's See, us I'm, two, we can go at I'm it. That's confused about when it comes to King Rice and Monmouth and how they keep on wanting Justin Robinson wants to be better than A.J. English. King Rice wants to be a better coach than – have a better program than the Iona Gales and Tim Kloos. And there's just some personal vendetta against Iona for whatever reason it was. And you could see their fans have an animosity towards Iona. I don't know where it's sparking from when you saw the fan heckling AJ. When meanwhile we didn't do anything to any of their players. Right. It's just it's just a sort of sense of pride that Monmouth has gotten, even though they haven't won anything. It's kind of an, they're a, a good team. They might get in that large bid. It's like a, an unwarranted surge of confidence. Like it's kind of it, it's an arrogance. And and, and, it's, and, and I, now they're chipping and everyone's smelling blood. And if oh, yeah. and and, and Ryder gets Ryder, the, Ryder gets the first chance to take a bite. So and exactly, go and for if it. They, if they lay a good punch on on Monmouth and make them run for their money, you know, just even if they don't take them to overtime, as long as they keep it within five right. to ten points. Even if they don't beat him, you bang them up, then they get to mm-hmm. see who Fairfield or St. Peter's, and then they finish the job or and whatever. Then Fairfield. I and think that the 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 target on Monmouth's back is is you're right is way bigger than ours last year, mm-hmm. way bigger and. You are also correct. The bench has a huge, huge, huge reason for that. And I think King Rice also, being who King Rice is, you know, mm-hmm. he's not the most – now, neither. Kloos he is, he is. is not the most publicly pleasing figure, to the outsiders at least, a because, of, of, his, coach, a lot of, the because of his comments. A lot of the coaches in the MAC are not really – Well, a lot of the coaches in the MAC aren't fond well of each other to be I, pathos. I honestly think that – Maziel is probably the one guy that everyone universally likes and respects. And respects is the big to, thing. If it has to right. actually be somebody. Right. And I think over the course of going to school here, I think he's the coach I've respected the most, honestly. Yeah. Out of all of them, even Fairfield's coach, um, I've I've grown I've grown to respect them. But when it when it comes to Sienna and Monmouth, it just seems it's it's more than basketball to them. It's more of a sense of pride, and maybe it's because King Rice. He played at a really competitive college when right, he, played he played at UNC. UNC you know, yeah. they had a they had a pride thing. There, there was a he's big on rivalries. You know, right. UNC Duke. He played a part of the biggest of rivalry in possible. And he carries that nature sports. with him. And and he carries it with him over here with his bench, and it kind of gives them that charisma going. But and then Sienna in the same sense because of the you know, the mid two thousand success game. they had. It's a, it's a home and game. it's a home game. They're playing a home game. That's a whole other issue uh, for another time. But I can I can go on a rant. I I don't care. Sienna is the most biased fan base I have I have come across, and it's just it's so ridiculous on how how they constantly try and make excuses onto how playing at the Times Union Center is not a home game for right. him. It's a home game uh, for It's you. more than just it's the right fans. It's Jimmy Patsos if, if, if doesn't had, even agree. Jimmy Patsos had, thinks it's not an advantage. If we had the MAC tournament at the Westchester County Center, everyone would be saying it's a home game for Iona, and rightfully so. But you know what? It's not. It's all the way up in Albany, and it's going to be in Albany for a few years. So you can't sit there and say fans help out wherever they help out. That's not true at all. These are students. These are college students, okay, and they're colleges. They, can't, they can only pay so much for students to get to one place, Albany. We have the fo- we're fortunate enough that we can have we can send send fans all the way up there. Okay, it's a short ride for people that go to Siena and their local fans. On top of that, because right. they they live in Albany, they don't really get a chance to see professional sports teams at all. All right, it's even a home game if we play to MSG somehow. That's a home game for us and Manhattan as well. It, it, it's going to be a combination but, of both. But th- that's not even the fact. That's a, that's a still a neutral site. This is Siena's home court. This is where they actually play their basketball games. And I don't know understand how the NCAA can't doesn't change that. I understand there's a voting process and contracts and bidding it, and all of that. But I completely but understand that's the, that's that. That's the problem. It's but where, there's it's no where, other conference in the in all of college that plays a conference well, well, tournament well, at if, someone's home well, at someone's home if, arena. If you want to if you want to be good enough, you got to beat the best. So I mean, you got to beat everyone. I don't think Iona's scared of them 
I think I think Sienna has an inferiority complex, and they, oh, and they constantly live in the past. It's it's okay to make make an argument saying, "Hey, look, we." We we we've won this and right. we won that. that if you're, if you're, you're the fallback. Yankees, if you're the Yankees, or if you're a professional sports team, this is college. The culture constantly changes right. over time. Right. These Coach K and Duke teams are not the same as those Duke teams in the '90s that he coached. All right, same with UNC. These UNC teams have nothing to do with the ones from the mid 2000s right. and Roy Williams teams. So when when they come and make the argument saying that Sienna was that team about seven years ago when they beat Ohio State, they're not that team now. They're not going to be that team now. They're got to be in their own team it's kind of when you when you talk to their fans they always make these excuses hey hey oh sienna was the last team to win a game in the tournament but oh, congratulations whatever it doesn't you matter haven't been it's back. Irrelevant. you haven't been back it's in the now and honestly going forward i i it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a great mac tournament so Absolutely. That'll do Absolutely. it for that side of the bracket. We're going to be back in just a minute discussing Iona's side um, and their game against Canisius and Siena versus Manhattan. Should be a very entertaining game. Big Dance, we'll be back in a few. Hey.